This is Launching Your Daughter Podcast, and I'm your host, Nicole Burgess, Licensed Marriage and Family Therapist. The information shared in this podcast is not a substitute for seeking help from a licensed mental health professional. Now, here is today's episode. Episode 67. Well, welcome, everybody. Thank you for tuning in for another week week's episode here on Launching Your Daughter podcast. I really appreciate you tuning in. And before I get started with today's episode, I want to invite you to go out to launchingyourdaughter.com and sign up for my newsletter. I usually send it out about once a month regarding parenting and teen stuff and maybe some apps that can manage some of the anxiety that goes on for both the adults and for the your teen daughter. And I want to talk a little bit about today Well, not even a little bit, a lot. I want to talk a lot about transitions today. First, I want to give you a heads up that I, considering transitioning this podcast into more of inspiring stories from women who are in our world, really making a difference that is also impacting our younger generation, our young girls out there, your daughters your nieces, you know, those that you mentor, I'm thinking of actually transitioning into that. I haven't gone through all the process yet. So if you have any feedback for me, whether you want me, no, no, keep going on this, please send me an email at Nicole at launchingyourdaughter.com and let me know whether you are okay with that or whether you are open to hearing maybe where this may go. So in today's episode regarding transition, back in episode... 17, I talked about creating rituals around life transitions. And I talked quite a bit about William Bridges' book, Transitions, which is Strategies for Coping with the Difficult, Painful, and Confusing Times. And I want to, I guess, really talk about this again due to if your daughter is a senior in high school, if she's a you know senior in college, and she is getting ready to move on the following year, beginning this conversation around transitions now is vitally important. Oftentimes when I work with families, they aren't necessarily, not that they're not thinking of it, everybody's planning for, you know, okay, she's getting ready to go off to college or she's getting ready to take that full-time job or move out of state, whatever it may be. But what sometimes gets forgotten is the grief, the sadness, the confusion that can happen as that time gets closer and closer. So I bring it up earlier in the year, especially the school year, to begin to focus on, acknowledge that some friendships will continue, some friendships will end. This is also a chapter in your daughter's life that is going to have a closing to it. If she is graduating high school or she is graduating college, she's done with that chapter. And that may have been the last four years of her life. It may have been the last four to seven years of her life if she's in college. And being able to give yourself permission or having her give herself permission to acknowledge that sadness can come up and confusion can come up during this time, it's really normal. Same thing for parents. There is times where like, oh, yeah, yeah, I know that, you know, next year she'll be done and we'll be moving on and, you know, we'll be empty nesters, but they're forgetting that it's a transition to that. So acknowledging it throughout this year can help ease some of the difficulty as that time frame gets closer. I know another colleague, she talked about it on her episode about this transition and her and her husband being empty empty nesters, that, yeah, there's greatness about it, there's excitement about it, and there's also sadness that comes up. So I will invite girls, um, teen girls to, you know, talk to their friends about, hey, you know, what are your hopes and dreams about, you know, next year? And you know, what's our relationship going to look like? Or what do you think about that? And oftentimes they're like, ah, nah, we're good. We're going to stay in contact. And they may at the beginning, it can also start to change as they build new relationships when they're on college campus, or if they move out of the home and, you know, they start a job, they can build new friendships through wherever they're working. So 
it's great to be able to talk about here's our plans or here's our expectations and also know that that can change. I mean, it's like life in general, right? We go through so many different transitions, even what I just started the podcast with my thoughts of, hey, I've started this launching your daughter podcast over a year ago. I have met and talked with so many incredible people. I have recently attended a conference um, for podcasters, and it was just amazing to actually meet the people behind the mic, you know, because this is all behind the scenes, and to see where they've come and how they have transitioned or maybe pivoted where they are taking their podcast and the information that goes out there to the world. And it's it's like life. We just, we go through, whether it's developmental changes, we go through school changes, we go through friend changes, there's family changes. Transitions are all over the place. And when we allow ourselves to actually feel all the emotions that come up during transitions, that's the healthy piece of it. What often happens, or at least what I have seen over the years of doing counseling, is the transitions are not necessarily acknowledged there's the denial, it's not going to happen, everything's going to be fine, versus allowing ourselves to soften and just go deeper with that, like, ah, this is hard. I'm feeling really sad. And there is some anger that comes up because I'm afraid of losing this relationship with this person. And you may or may not lose that relationship, but it's definitely going to shift. It's going to change. And that's normal. When we give ourselves permission to share our thoughts and our feelings assertively, like I talked with, you know, Julie Hanks about this. We allow the other people, all the other people in our lives to really see us. And then we get to see them. It's witnessing that process of transition. It's witnessing our internal process of how relationships do change us. Your daughter, as she has grown up, has gone through many, many changes. You've seen it just developmentally where she is, you know, she likes a certain food and then that changes or she's in this group of friends and then maybe that changes or she has these certain interests and then that changes. All of that is normal. Giving ourselves permission to explore possibilities, to try something new, it does. It takes courage and it's brave to be able to do that. And it's very, very brave in my mind when we allow ourselves to follow what our path is versus what other people tell us it needs to be. And that can be hard when we go against maybe some expectations of other people. Parents and caregivers, what are you going to do to help you move through this next transition in your daughter or your the young woman that you're caring for, what are you going to do to take care of you during this time? How are you going to acknowledge that this chapter of your life with her is coming to an end, that it really is changing? When you begin to share that with her, acknowledging that with her, it also helps her gain an understanding too. It's like, Hey, it's not changing. I'm still going to come back for vacations and this. And it's like, yeah. And it's different. Family life will continue to move forward whether she's in the home or she's not. So when I've talked in other episodes about managing expectations, things like that, this is just another area of it. It's being able to share those emotions that come with this transition, this change. I really hope that you can Give yourself permission to first and foremost kind of sit in whatever comes up for you and acknowledge that and share those thoughts and those feelings with her and create some time around that doing activities you guys enjoy together and also giving some tears up if needed regarding this next chapter in her life and encouraging her to take photos of her with friends to talk with her friends about what they enjoyed together to reflect on what high school life was like and what they've enjoyed, or maybe even some of the struggles that they've had, right? And just reflect back to her, the transitions you've seen her go through as well, all the ups and the downs, giving that a full, what do I want to say? I guess giving it a full acknowledgement 
for this change that is happening this year, this her senior year. Again, whether she is in high school or she is in college, it is a shift. And it's, yeah, transitions, I think, sometimes just get minimized. And I really, really, really want to encourage you to acknowledge that transitions don't equal bad. They have excitement in it. They have sadness in it. There's definitely confusion in it. There can be the thoughts or feelings of I'm feeling more vulnerable during this time because I'm feeling lost. And that's, it's normal. It really is. Each time we go deeper into our knowing, we begin to know ourselves more and it's stepping out on that vulnerability limb of sharing that then with those in our in our circle of like, hey, this used to work for me and it doesn't anymore. And I'm nervous about sharing this with folks, you know, because again, those thoughts of am I going to still be loved? Uh, is this relationship going to go forward? Or will that friend or loved one say, hey, I don't want to take part of this? Hopefully not, because you've got the give and take in the relationship. But sometimes that can happen. When we go through our own internal transitions or we move or, you know, high school stops or college is done, you can lose friendships. You can lose relationships because of that change. It's normal. It's hard. And sometimes it can open up other possibilities that we might not have been open to if we had maintained that relationship. Again, it doesn't mean that you're trying to get rid of or stop all types of relationships if they're toxic. Absolutely. It's allowing yourself to acknowledge that even if a relationship does end and it can be sad and it can be heartbreaking, it can also open up other possible friendships, other possible relationships, that it doesn't, life doesn't stop with that. It's just with transitions, right? Everything, we giving ourselves permission to continue to embrace change because change is the normal, change is every day, change is always ongoing. When we don't allow ourselves just to feel it and to go deeper into that, that's when it can be more of a challenge for us when we don't give ourselves permission to truly feel the depth of our feelings and to acknowledge that. So I hope today's episode really helps you. Again, this is, we're still in August at the time of this recording. You really begin to look at all the transitions that are coming up, right? August is coming up transition, at least here in the Midwest to fall is coming up. And so the leaves are going to begin to change. So we have seasons of change. We have seasons of transition. And your daughter is going to be going through a transition if she is If she's maybe if your school even eighth grade year uh, stops and she goes into high school, a different school, that's a transition. If she is a senior this year and she's graduating and she's going to move out of the house or she's going to go to college, that's a transition. If she's a senior in college, that's a transition. I really just want there to be, I guess, more awareness around transitions and acknowledgement of that so that the emotions really get the space so that everybody gets to go through them versus avoid them. So I hope you found this episode helpful today. And again, just a reminder, I invite you to go out to launchingyourdaughter.com and you can sign up for the newsletter. And I will keep you informed about a possible transition into a little slightly different focus in this podcast. If you've got feedback for me, I'm totally open to hearing it. Again, you can send me an email at Nicole at launchingyourdaughter.com. Thanks again. Thank you for listening to Launching Your Daughter with Nicole Burgess, Licensed Marriage and Family Therapist. For more information or to stay up to date, go to launchingyourdaughter.com. You can sign up for my email list or join my Facebook group. Thank you.